Hi, good morning. Um, just about afternoon here in the UK. Uh, light's rubbish at this time of year here too, so forgive the um, lighting. Um, but I've finally received my AirPod Pro clones. Uh, it's impossible to know what version, well, there's, there's version 2 of the AirPod clones. There was a first version that came out. Um, the, this is the next generation of clones. So the trouble is, don't get confused by the names. They got so abused with the first um, set of AirPods, they just started flinging in the names because there's no regulation on names or anything like that. So you never knew what you were getting. You didn't know what chipset you were getting. You purely had to go off of um, reviews or yeah, just it's really hard to know what to look for in, in product listings to know that you're getting a good one. Um, I chose these and they are from Shop Style Review and they're pretty good. I'll tell you and I'll keep using them and update the description with a date because I don't want these videos to get too long because I know we're all fed up of just seeing the same things. We know what they look like and I will show them to you in a minute but it's more about what's in the description that is going to be of interest to you. I'm going to test more as, as they come in and as new newer versions come out. So these have the ability to change the name of the AirPods. They have GPS tracking. Um, they don't have volume control on the stubs like the uh, previous i200 TWS um, and neither do the real ones apparently. So all you can change is the noise cancelling and you can set up Siri and stuff. There's, there's a lot you have to do now. Um, you have to make sure that you've got your iOS up to date. They will work with any Bluetooth item and they've done a good job but there are some issues with them. Essentially what you're getting is the technology from the f first lot of clones, the best technology in those, ported to a new shell. Essentially that's what you're getting. So the sound quality is, is very good. I like that a lot. There are some things with this with these AirPod Pros that I really prefer to the old ones, but there are some things that I don't like as well, so I'm going to go through that. Let's just have a quick look at them before too much longer. So, you might have seen them before. These have the, um, there's a little charge plate in there. I don't know if it's focusing too well, but um, you can see there's a slight ring here, which is different to the, the first version of them. And let me just take this rubber off so you can see how the um, now see it's just started to play um, how it attaches and it's just opened up Siri as well. So this is and the touch area is this little flat spot here. You can just see that it's actually really one of the things I dislike is how the touch kind of is harder to operate. It doesn't it doesn't work very well for me and all you want to do is kind of play and pause your music and maybe affect the volume but the better normal clones you don't you can't affect the volume anyway so that's not not something but let me um so they're actually working as i as i try and demonstrate them to you which is annoying so you've got these rubber inserts that's the main thing that i like so now I can actually wear these and go for a jog and they do not they do not move, they do not fall out and that's the biggest reason why I like these over the old ones. I, I kept constantly having to push the old ones in and reset, reset them and every time you did you would activate the touch sensor on them so it was causing and, and it was just annoying so these just stay in and there's no and I can actually if they were to work out a bit I can actually push them in without affecting any touch because the touch now is a little squeeze on the stalk. And they've tried to mimic, you see that flat spot? That's where you squeeze for any length of time and you um, affect, depending on the left or right, what you can call Siri or play and pause, skip to the next track or previous track. Those are the things that it's doing. It does work, but it, it doesn't work super well. But I can get over that because the music and the, um, sorry, the sound quality is very good. Um, don't have a problem with bass or any of that stuff and the things that don't work 
don't bother me so much. At least I can take these to the gym and work out. I can go for a run and have good music just playing. And my iPhone will be located in my waist belt, my running belt. Um, and I've got no problems. Well, with the others, they, they kept just wanting to fall out and stuff. So, um, yeah, that was that was a reason I couldn't really enjoy them so much. But they're, they're really lightweight, these clones. So they're very comfortable. And the same as the old airpod clones they're not heavy and it's so nice to have music in your ears without a lot of weight you know um, especially if you're going on a, a 10k or something like that then you know having some this in your ear as you run is really good so as i say they don't fall out with me when i'm running and that is a major major bonus that the annoying things they do do are i can live with so i'm not finding that the charge indicators are accurate um, and we'll see about battery life. It's too early to tell yet. That's why I'm saying in the description I'll update all of this stuff, and I'll go into into quite a bit of detail. So um, it keeps affecting every time I just twiddle them around my thing. So they sort of sit. They're funny as the the case is is a little bit, and also the build quality doesn't seem to be. You see that gap. Although it's got a nice hinge like that, it doesn't fully snap shut. And that's to do with these rubbers that I'm finding. So if you put the smaller one on, I think it shuts better. So light on the front, frosted metal. That's all good. There's no, um, there's no writing. I really don't mind about that stuff. All I want is a functioning pair of um, earbuds, to be honest with you. And these give you that. Now you're going to have to spend a little bit more at the moment because they, um, they're just obviously in demand more because they're the AirPod Pro clones. And as they're new to market, there's not so many sellers selling them. They cost a bit more. Uh, don't, pay, don't pay $70 or $80 for them. I've even seen some sh shops really, really ripping people off for like like 200 bucks and, so and stuff. It's absolutely scandalous. But there's a small button on the back. Um, let's just have a have a quick look with my phone and, and show you how it works. So let's just go into it and I open. I've had also issues. It doesn't always pop up the menu for me. It has done now, and I've named them. So you, as you can see, one's showing is fifteen percent. That doesn't really look right to me. They should be going down in equal measures. It's saying that one is looking like it's charged. That makes sense because I've had them in the gym today. But why would one be going down and not the other? So that doesn't make sense. Um, and the battery indicators aside, I don't really care about any of that stuff if they work. There's no noise cancelling or anything with them, so don't buy into that. Um, with the real AirPod Pros, of course there is, and it's. I haven't tried them. I'd love to try them because you can have two settings, one where it lets in outside noise and the other one where it seals and you can only hear your music that that is really a game changer and that's you know why these clones are not the same they just look the same and that's that's what you're buying you're buying something that looks like you know the airpod pros they're one-to-one -one and they've got the like i say they've got at the bottom of the stalk now they've got this ring which is is how they are but they don't quite fit in exactly the way that they do on the on the normal ones but you can't see see a difference with that so yeah i'm pretty happy at the moment because like i said i couldn't go for a run with the old ones without them keep slipping and falling out and these ones they stay in and the connection does drop now and again but i was in the gym for about an hour 45 and i ran up to the gym 10 minutes each way and they they were it only cut out about four times during that whole thing and when it cuts out it kind of comes back um, within a second or so later so it's really not a big deal I can live with that sort of thing what I can't live with are airpods that fall out of my ears so I'm very happy about these and if you if you also struggle with them falling out then these might be a good buy for you like I say I'll use them a lot more now and I will put in the description below um, the date and update you with how well the battery works, how long they last. 
I'm not going to charge them and, and, and see what happens, see how long it goes with just normal use before I need to charge them up again. Sorry, I've got a bit wordy with my videos and um, hope that you got something from this video and found it useful. But it's going to be in the description below where you're going to really get the information over due course. So please forgive the um, filmography if you like. Have a good day and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Subscribe and share this video with your friends. That would be appreciated. Bye now.